I'm Hugo from Microsoft. Did you know that you can actually debug a web part or an adaptive card extension directly from within a page, not just within the workbench? It's super easy to do. Let me show you how. I really like the templates from lookbook.microsoft.com. But what I really want to do is I want to have a section divider that allows me to do a transition between two different sections of two, two different colors. And I'd like to have some shapes. However, the web part that I built to do that doesn't look really great within the workbench. I'd love to be able to try it within the communication page itself. So here I have my React page divider web part project. And for me to preview it inside of a regular page or a communication page, all I have to do is I have to do gulp serve dash dash no browser. And what you can see here is I have right here, let me try to highlight this for you. Right here, it actually gives me in my browser, in my uh, workbench, it shows up in yellow, but it says to load your scripts, use this query string. Question mark debug equals blah, blah, blah. I don't need to read the whole thing. It's pretty much always the same query string. And all you have to do is copy this query string. And then I have to just wait for the reload reload to tell me that it's ready to actually reload the web part on the page. All right, I have the reload reload that I was looking for. When you see this message, it means you are ready to preview your web part in the workbench or within the page. All right, so now I have the page where I want to insert my web part. I'm going to insert it between these two sections. I'm going to insert it as a full width web part. And I to do that, I need to actually preview within the page. So I'll just go to this URL here, right here from my page, which is a real communication page. I'll paste the URL that I just copied. And now when I go to edit mode, I should be able to actually preview my web part right here. This is the web part that I created called section divider. And again, it's only running from within the uh, Visual Studio Code right now. It has not been published or anything like that. So let's insert it. And now you'll see I get a cool wave, but I can just try other things from my web part that I want. And that's it. We just reviewed how to debug a web part or an adaptive card extension directly from within the page and without using the workbench. I hope this helps. See you later. Thank you.